Summer is the best season at our country house. There are so many berries getting ripe, so it's very nice that this year there is Johnny lending a hand in picking and also eating the fruits of our labor. We have had a great strawberry harvest and also various kinds of currants have been appearing. I broke this one, but I'm surprised that we have so many raspberry blackberry hybrids already. How do they taste? They are delicious. Would you yeah. like to try one? Yeah, I would love to. Mmm. <laughs> They're really good. My hands are so <laughs> all sorts of colors from different fruit. That means they are healthy. Yeah. We don't have that many black currants this year. I don't know why, because the shrub looks good. But we have some more shrubs in the back, and we already harvested one of them, so it's not that bad overall. Dude, are these ticks? <laughs> no. <laughs> I promise. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Smells good. We have harvested our first kohlrabi from our garden ever, because this is the first year that we tried growing them from seed. So that's a good accomplishment. Yeah, my gardener is always the best. Right. And have you ever tasted that before? Well, yeah, it was quite common uh, when I was growing up. My mom prepared them for us all the time. So I remember liking them. Mm -hmm. see, that's still the case. Yeah, and Johnny tells us that he doesn't know it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of it. So he will taste it first. Okay, let's, let's see. see. It's good. Is it juicy? It, yeah, it's a little bit juicy. Um, I'm trying to think of what it tastes mostly like. Hmm. It tastes like something super familiar that I can't put my finger on. Would it be radish? A little bit like a radish, yeah. But it's not as pungent. Not as... This is it mild. Can be, it can be pungent. Oh, really? It's old, I think. Oh. This is radish. It's like the radish, but it's not as strong. It's a little like mellow over mm -hmm. taste, but it's like crunchy. A little bit juicy. <laughs> what is what it's supposed to taste like? Okay. Yeah. I'm happy to hear. It's really that. good. Look how many strawberries we have here. These are special forest strawberries. At least that's what we call them. Because similar ones grow in forests here in the surroundings. And they are smaller. Look, like it's not a big strawberry. They are just kind of tiny, but more aromatic. The yeah, they, they taste a lot sweeter mm -hmm. than bigger strawberries. But Tommy was saying that these ones are from Sicily? Or? No, from Corsica. 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 So that's the island in the Mediterranean. It belongs to France. And yeah, so we have something very French here. <laughs> it's the same thing that grows in our forest. It's just a different population with a little bit bigger fruits, maybe. Mm -hmm. To me, they're so sweet that they almost taste like candy, like mm -hmm. an actual sugar candy. Yeah. They're really good. So we have candy growing here. It looks like this variety is very happy here in oh, our yeah. garden. And that's very nice. We are preparing dinner and Johnny is a big help. <laughs> Look at those pretty cubes. Almost as if Tommy was cutting this. <laughs> Almost. Amazing. Tommy yeah. approves, right? I do. Two yeah. thumbs up. Two enthusiastic thumbs up. out the garden because there are a lot of weeds and I am cutting these garlic flowers you should do that so the garlics don't put energy into growing the flowers we don't need that we need the energy to get into the bulbs that are underground 
so you should cut these flowers. And last year we found out when you chop them into small pieces and fry them on a pan with a little bit of oil and salt, it's a delicacy. Wow, they are good raw as well, but quite pungent. But on the pan, when they are prepared a little bit, it's amazing. Water is flowing out of them, <laughs> you can see it, but yes, very, very fresh, yummy. Here you go, Johnny. Better? So much comfort. Much better. Johnny is like a king now. <laughs> That's my role, usually. Like royal treatment. How is it? It's so great. I'll be here for most of the afternoon. <laughs> Today for lunch we are having these little are they cookies Johnny? I would or? call them cookies. Yeah. yeah. But these are special savory cookies made of white beans and oats and stuff like that. So it should be interesting. Johnny is our test <laughs> subject. <laughs> our guinea pig. Uh, our guinea pig. So let's wait and see let's what see. happens. Yeah. Which I want? Mm. It's like um, it's similar to it's similar to like a cornbread almost. Mm -hmm. You've never had that, have you? Mm, like I can feel corn, <laughs> but we've never had cornbread, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> if you're watching in America, it tastes like cornbread, but a little um. What's the word? What's the word? What is the that word? is always our problem. <laughs> 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 the most used phrase on this trip. And here we have garlic flowers, chopped and like prepared on a pan with a little bit of oil and salt. So that's like our healthy vegetable that goes with the cookies. Not available in America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Johnny will start a new business. Yes. But it's not available here in stores either. It's just available in our people's garden. gardens. <laughs> yeah. And definitely in our garden. <laughs> Johnny is relaxing here in the hammock. But I had to come here because there were a few questions in the comments mm. for Johnny. So, are you ready to answer them? I'm ready, I think. Okay, so this question is for Johnny. They said you were single. Everyone has a type of guys, so what's your type? Also, what age range do you like to date? Man, I think I have to cop out behind. I don't really have a type. I think, uh, I don't know. I like guys that um, are honest, nice, empathetic, <laughs> like to travel. Um, age range again i don't know if i have any limitations i mm -hmm. think i've only dated one guy that was older than me um but yeah i don't really have a limited age range i so think it's more just how i get along with them from 18 to infinity <laughs> yeah 18 to 100 okay i'm open okay johnny the next question for you <laughs> okay how did you guys meet each other how did i meet you guys i guess <laughs> Um, how did we meet? I think we met through Instagram actually a few yeah. years ago. I I must have commented on one of your stories, I think. 
we just continued to talk. That was like a few years ago, actually. You know, right? It's almost five years. Five years ago. Yeah. yeah. That's how long we know each other. And we stayed in touch. And I need to add, the first contact was with Tommy. With yes. Tommy. Yeah, yeah, because we we only had our own personal accounts. Oops, <laughs> there wasn't a Tommy uh, and Peter account yet. That's yeah. right. So yeah. you you like commented or something on one of my posts through so. DMs, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Who's this guy? <laughs> and why is his account private?" So Ooh. I, I was hesitating if I should even reply back. Well, but I did, and the rest is history. Smart move. <laughs> yeah, very smart and move. Then, yeah, and then I came to visit in 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the day that all of the borders closed for COVID. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> it was I, very exciting. I arrived in a sheer panic to leave. So <laughs> glad I got to come back and just hang out. Someone is asking, do you have a family in Europe? Mm -hmm. Or do you just enjoy traveling? Ah, so it's both. Yeah, so I have a younger sister that lives in France. And she's been there for seven or eight years now. And the reason she's out here is kind of cute and funny. Her husband uh, was the French exchange student that stayed at our house when oh. we were in high school. <laughs> and he stayed with us for, yeah, for six months. And when he moved back, we lost, this is kind of pre-social media, we lost contact with him and didn't speak with him again until I took a trip to Europe with my sister in 2016 and we kind of had no plan we were just hopping around we decided to look him up and see if we could find him and if he would even remember us so we found him on Facebook and contacted contacted him and he said I'm in Nice and we were in Barcelona and he did remember us and told us to come fly into Nice and hang out with him and we did and the rest is history wow that's amazing <laughs> yeah wow. just a story yeah. it was really funny too I remember like the day that he landed and he, Louis if you're watching this <laughs> English was terrible they had no no English skills but I remember that I was a senior and Louis was a junior and my sister was a sophomore and that following weekend was senior prom and only juniors and seniors can go to senior prom unless you're invited by a junior and senior then you can also come so I remember he walked in and put his bag down and my sister walks over to him on his first day and says you're a junior right I'm like uh yeah and she goes do you want to invite me to senior prom this is the day that he arrived so I have a picture of them hanging on my wall. They're both 16 and I think he like borrowed my pants or something that are like way too big and it's their prom picture together like a few days after he landed. And so I come back all the time and just love to explore. Europe's awesome. It's great having a base here, right? Totally. I definitely use her as my European base to, to bounce around and that allows me to stay for a little bit longer than just checking into a hotel for a week or something. Yeah, it's definitely easier when you have a place to stay. The hotel Tommy and Peter is fantastic, <laughs> so... B&B. &B. We are the second base. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> second base, huh? Okay, and this was a two-part question. Okay. So, do you have a YouTube channel? More people wanted to know that. And subscribe. <laughs> I don't have a YouTube channel. I think I technically do, but it, it doesn't have anything on it, so it's pretty empty. Um, really, the only social that I have is in, is Instagram. Um, yeah, I've kind of signed off of everything else, so Instagram is the last thing standing. Instagram is your main base. That's my main base. <laughs> Follow me at this handle. <laughs> me and Johnny baked this just moments ago. <laughs> this is completely fresh. And it's a quiche from France. Ooh. Like, it's originally from France, but we need it to adjust because here in the stores in the Czech Republic, the ingredients weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> Improvised. And, yeah, we had to improvise. And Johnny said, it will be okay. Right? <laughs> I was promised perfection. <laughs> yes. So we'll see if this is perfection. We will cut it. And I took a bite of the crust and the crust was really good. So it's a little mm. tease. I'm glad to hear that because usually Johnny buys 
by Crust. Bought by Crust. Yeah. What and is that about? It. <laughs> it's just very quick. Yeah, but here we make everything from scratch. So we made the dough as well from butter and flour and here it is. So let's dig in. Ooh, I mean it feels good. Yeah, it feels great. Uh oh. In one piece, Johnny. Okay, this, I'm glad. This will be all Johnny's fault, not mine. Ooh, wow. wow, it's pretty. <laughs> oh, wow. That's amazing. Look at the structure and everything. See how the egg's cooked? Yeah. Perfect amount. It looks like, yeah, really good amount of veggies. Good amount of cheese. Peter, this is all on you. You promised. You promised. <laughs> mm -mm. Guys. You should have seen us in the kitchen. Amazing. We were an amazing duo. It is so good. It is? So good. <gasps> I'm so looking yeah. forward to this, but let me cut one more piece Yum. for Tommy. Aww. Our cameraman. So we didn't film the cooking because we would still be cooking. <laughs> it always takes Very a rich. lot of time. Twice as much as without filming. Filming is slow, so you can at least see the end result. And I'm going to dig in as well. <gasps> this is it. So mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Wow. There's a secret uh, ingredient that we can't share, but <laughs> keep that for ourselves. Yes. First impression, what do you think? Wow, <laughs> it's it's really professional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm impressed, guys. What Yay. do you think of the dough? The dough is perfect. Mm -hmm. Better than store bought. <laughs> Absolutely, that's how you do it. It doesn't taste fake. <laughs> mm -hmm. The dinner is over. Let's drink. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a sp very special alcohol. Tommy's dad made this from our apples. This is apple and this is from our plums, like special variety of plums. And this is a very strong liquor, 52% of alcohol. <laughs> Johnny is looking forward to this. He said it looks dangerous. <laughs> Homemade alcohol. And I was like, I will need something sweet or non-alcoholic to it. Johnny, a brave boy from California, he said, I don't need anything. That's I will just true. drink <laughs> this straight up. So Johnny, do you want plum or apple? First. Uh, <laughs> you can smell it, but I wouldn't advise. <laughs> the smell is very alcoholic. Whew. <laughs> poison. <laughs> yeah, poison number one. To some, like me and Tommy, it could smell like poison. Whew. Do you smell any difference? Gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> so which one? Mm, that one. Okay, so apple it is. This is the elderberry. Somehow lemon. this made me shiver more than that. <laughs> that is elderberry. <laughs> Ew, lemon. water. Alcohol. <laughs> Tommy doesn't drink this, so I'm not even trying. Neither do I. I wouldn't he dare. Do double shots. Johnny does. He was all confident. I'm okay with that. This will be that. okay, <laughs> and I can drink anything, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Give me that. No, I don't want any of that. So this is for me? Yeah. You will need something to drink after this. No water. Okay, you have water. I don't know if water is enough. <laughs> but okay, your choice. So, cheers. All right, in America we cheers. Hit the table and then shoot, all right? Okay, but when saying cheers, you need to look into my eyes. Oh, you're so French. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh. Uh. <laughs> Tastes like apples. Uh. It's so bad. <laughs> there are no apples. There is nothing. <laughs> wow. You're up, Tommy. No Jesus. thanks. I'm driving. <laughs> wow. Okay. I gotta walk back to the house, so I don't know if I can have more. Ooh, they are poisoned. Officially. <laughs> How was it? Very apple-y. <laughs> <laughs> so much vitamin C. Uh, I think I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. How can people drink this? <laughs> So we will try the plum one as well. Yeah. Later. Oh, here we go. Or now? <laughs> I don't want it. Tell now. me, how does your dad drink this stuff? Oh, he loves it. Whew. What's whole, your dad's name? Whole life training. Olji. Olji? Something like that. Shout out to Olji. <laughs> wow, good. <laughs> uh, thanks okay. for the warm, fuzzy feeling. Yeah. No worries. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time for round two. Or as we call it here, uh, second, second leg? Uh -huh, yeah, you, you will pour this in your second leg. <laughs> so this is the plum one. Also 52%. Yeah, also. I'm scared. Hey guys, enjoy. <laughs> and of course, I also need this elderberry lemonade. Which is delicious, by the way. It is. And we are going, Johnny. All right, into our second legs. Second legs. All right, here so, we go. I'm against this for the record. <laughs> yeah, Cheers. right. Cheers. <coughs> so different, right? <coughs> Slightly different. <laughs> Woo. Ah. It's like gasoline. I Woo. like how Johnny <laughs> pretends that it's strong. <laughs> uh, and meanwhile, Peter is dying next to him. He was strong. right, like it's not do doing anything to him. How are you doing it, Johnny? It's He's strong. Mexican. It's just burning, wow. it's burning my, my insides right I now. I was like, you don't have it in your genes, you will be dying. And I'm dying <laughs> instead. And Mexican and Irish, so the bad. two countries that drink the absolute most. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. <sighs> <sighs> do you feel it in your head? Good night, guys. I feel it in my nose and in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> it's burned and I feel like poisonous vapors are coming out of me. <laughs> this is a public service announcement, kids. Don't drink alcohol. Yes, I agree. And I'm sorry, but there were no more updates from that evening. No idea how that could have happened. Anyway, we continued doing all kinds of work in the garden. It was time to prepare support for our tomatoes, although this year they are growing kinda slowly. But hopefully in the end they will surprise us. We kept harvesting our veggies and fruits and simply enjoying the time in the garden. If you liked our video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye!